What's the deal, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, this is Xbox Beast Fire. I know it's a little late. Uh, I wanted to start at 9 30, but we're waiting on a uh, post up with the most up for the close up. He was having some, uh, he was having a, 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 a some, a, a love car on the background. Hold on, let me mute this name in the back. There we go. We go. We go. It just dropped out. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> But anyway, uh, listen, we want to get this thing here. Sorry, what's going on? Sorry to everybody in the chat that's joining. People still joining as we speak. Uh, do be, be so kind and hit the thumbs up, tweet it out. We're going to have some fun tonight. I promise you we are going to have some fun tonight. It's a lot to talk about. D. What's up? Like I said, I've been talking to you all week, more or less. Uh, you know, more or less. Uh, I got a question for you. Now, I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to reach out to you and say, do a one on one with you. You, you, you you're the tech guy. My man, with the, they got the, the inside and I was on the coup de course. But I want to ask you a question. All right? <laughs> uh, uh, no, it was, it's crazy. I remember, um, I say 2014, right? I'll give you an example. 2014, I'm out there fighting this council. I'm out there fighting. I'm putting up a good fight. I'm out there like uh, Samuel Jackson and, and Django. Calvin! I'm out there fighting the fight, right? So, uh, Mr. X come around with this website. I'm going to use on that website too, the Insider X, right? And the Xbox, the Secret Sauce, the Dual Double Stack GPU. You remember all that talk, right? You know what I mean? And I sat back then, right? And I, I did several videos on. I sat back and I said, I don't understand how Microsoft can spend. I think it was like 1.2 billion dollars or something with AMD and come up with the weaker hardware. I didn't understand it. You know what I mean? But come to find, out, I think they've covered across. Uh, multiple console, whether it's the S and the Xbox uh, One X or whatever the case may be. It wasn't just for the Xbox uh, One in 2013, all right? <clears throat> now, with that being said, right, uh, last, year, well, last year, so before the Pro came out, uh, they were talking about really the PS4 Pro was eight teraflops. Remember that? The eight teraflops off, right? Right. And Mark Cerny with 16 half float and 32 bit process, you know, all that technical mechanical stuff. That's your thing right there. Now, AMD just came out with their their Vega GPUs, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And it was the, the technology called RTA. What was it called? RTA math? Or? They're calling it rapid math. RPA. Rapid math. Okay, yeah. rapid math. And some of this technology, okay, some of this technology is supposed to be in, inside the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. And I see this article, and it was saying that this is uh, Sony's uh, secret weapon, the ace of their sleeve to combat the Xbox One X <laughs> power. Talk to me. What's going on? This is the secret sauce. All these ponies out there dealing with Mr. In I say, uh, Mr. X and the, in the, the industry inside again. What's, what's going on? Talk to yeah, me. Yeah, there, there's, there's no secret sauce per se. Basically, the FP16 calculations, it'll take two of them and complete them in one time. So. Okay. It, it, it can't be used everywhere though like it can be used like say like on foliage on on little stuff in the game because when you start to use fp16 calculations you lose precision it's just not as precise so you're not going to have uh, the image is just not going to be as clear you're going to have some banding you're going to have some little artifacts in there so that's why they can't use it everywhere they can use it in places where you're not going to notice it as much now in the places that they can use it because like i've said many times before you can't use it everywhere you can only use it on certain stuff in the game so most of the game is still going to be using fp32 mm -hmm. so these little places so like so say they use it for foliage and and they're able to get a little bit more draw distance or they're able to 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 compress some stuff a little bit better and get maybe four or five six frames per second more that's the extent that it's going to, to benefit so yes it's going to benefit the ps4 pro according to amd it, it's up to 15 percent increase in certain areas it cannot be used everywhere and and this but this they're quoting this off of a vega gpu a full vega gpu that has 12 teraflops of performance wow now 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 uh the PS4 Pro only has four teraflops of performance. So now, if they're if they're saying about fifteen percent with the uh, with the Vega 64 GPU, like I said, it offers twelve teraflops of performance in FP16. Uh, sorry, in F in the rapid math mode, I think it goes up to like twenty four or something like that. Yeah, it goes up twenty four percent. Yeah, the yeah, teraflops, but like I said, it can't be used in every area of the game, so it's a little bit misleading. People are thinking, "Oh, okay, so it's gonna boost the console from four teraflops to eight teraflops, and we're gonna have all this compute power." No, 
where where it was using it on the grass, where it was like maybe four teraflops on that grass, maybe they can get an eight teraflops performance for rendering that grass, which may uh, free up a little bit more resources somewhere else, so they can get like a four, five, six percent increase or like a seven percent. I would say maybe five to eight frames per second increase in the game and that's like with max benefits like with everything working out for them so yes it'll benefit them but it's not going to be that much it's it's not going to bridge the gap mm -hmm. uh, spec spec wise the xbox one x is 40 percent greater uh, spec wise period so let's just use the argument here and use amd's numbers of the 15 percent and say they can get a 15 percent boost on everything which they can't and this is documented they can't it's only in certain areas and amd says this as well but let's just say 15 percent 15 percent does not equal 40 percent it is not going to gap the uh deficit in hardware that xbox one x has over ps4 pro it's just not going to do it the damage quality you're going to lose image quality too yeah, because it's not it's not as precise. So you, the, the information is not as precise. The image quality is it, it, it you're gonna have to nitpick to see it to be quite honest with you, but it'll be there. It, it won't be as precise. You know, if digital foundry breaking down the video, they might see some banding here. And I'll give you an example. Um Mass Effect used it, but they didn't really use it on the textures, they used it more for HDR, so it was so it wouldn't be as taxing. And um when it was used, uh gamers kind of benchmarked it, and when they used it, they, they noticed a four to five percent. Uh, sorry, a four a four to eight percent increase in frame rate. Sorry, a four to eight frames per second increase in the frame rate. So that's 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 not a lot. Like it'll help. It's a little bit of a boost, but like I said, it's not gonna bridge the gap. It's just not gonna do it. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Uh, you know what? If, uh, I'm sorry. We're gonna get to go. Come on, go, go, go. Yeah, it's it's whole list. It's not even just the the bridge and the gap and all that like the way these math precision algorithms work it's more or less taking two things that would be single cycled and making them one cycle it doesn't magically double the amount of render space used it's just compressing it so the compression will hurt in the visual area as much as it will help in the frame rate and it will more so stabilize the frame rate because that's what most of these calculations are for. They're for frame rate stabilization, not so much frame rate increase. But people don't understand that. So well, like Mark Sony, Sony can come out there and go, it's now eight. And everybody's like, yes, it's eight. No, go kill yourself. You like, know what's crazy? To a fire. At like, the end of the day, right, uh, what, again, um, and... I, I want to say this, you know, 99.0% of what we do is for entertainment to have fun. You know what I mean? We all cover the same news articles. And and I say this again. It's, I make this, I'm a gamer at the end of the day. I play on everything besides the Switch. But I play on everything, right? Uh, more, I'm more of an Xbox guy. I make, listen, I, I make no quarrels about that. I'd say, even like I said, if you have children, it's okay to have your favorite child. We're all biased towards something, okay? But my thing is, are these sort of quote, neutral youtubers right they claim that they're not so you know pro sony or they play on everything but you can tell which one they're actually pro to so and again i, I i'm looking at stone fox's video uh someone sent it to me right because i'm like yeah it's, like you, these are the same people that was bugging about the secret sauce and he's, he's put this video look so look something that the xbox one x can't do and mm, eight teraflops and like, that guy doesn't what? know what he talks about half of the time. I, I don't know how he's so popular, but whatever. Sorry. But no, but no, I'm just saying, I'm looking like, man, you know, at the, you know, and just, uh, I'm like, I'm bugging. I, I know my man was bugging with the Mario, with the with the devil and the Jesus and stuff. Like, you can't be, you, know, you can't be real. <laughs> like, you cannot, but listen, that sounds just as bad as me out there. I admit I was out there damage controller. Uh, listen, I, I was out there damage controller saying, selling DX12 on every corner, uh, the secret sauce towel rendering, you name it, the cloud, I was out there selling it all. But I know I was out there jiving, you know what I mean? But I don't think, these, I think these jokers are dead serious. I mean, with the straight poker <laughs> people, you know what I mean? They out there frauding. Well, just, just, to give, just to give you an example, okay? So Vega uh, 64, it's like 12 teraflops, but when in uh, using FP16 mode, it's uh, 24 teraflops. So if it was a complete doubling of the teraflops, please tell me why that card doesn't destroy a GTX 1080 Ti. Those are my exact words. 
literally that's exactly what I asked. Was <laughs> how how does something designed completely based around this process, completely based around this math, how is it not destroying everything that's its peer? It, nobody can answer that question. Like how the simple, well, the how simple is the answer, piece it? of it that's in the PS4 Pro able to take more advantage of a card that's completely built around this? Exactly, exactly. And, 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 and the, fact of, the fact of the matter is, is that it can't be used everywhere. That's the difference, only so, certain parts. I got some information on this. Um, oh. So um, all, all existing games except a few HDR games output images at 8 bits per channel, RGB 8. Input textures are also commonly 8 bit per channel, mm -hmm. and BC compress equals lower quality as, as 8 bit. Mm -hmm. So as you input and output data, as your input output data has only 8-bit precision, you don't need to calculate all intermediate math at 32-bit. Now, games don't store intermediate buffers at 32-bit floats either. RGB A 16F is used commonly for HDR data and RGB 10 and RGB A 8 for other intermediate buffers. 16-bit floating processing is fine for most math and games. Results cannot be distinguished by the naked eye from four 32-bit floating pipelines. As long as developers know what he or she is doing, especially if temporal um, AA gets used. Now, unfortunately, for writing a good mix between FP16 and FP32 code requires good knowledge about floating points, mouth behaviors, and some basic nu numeric range analysis. Um, it is possible to write math in a way that minimizes the floating point issue, allowing you to use FP16 more often, but of course you use FP16 in the wrong way, you get banding and other artifacts issues like Dee was saying. Now, this is from a developer developer that um, develops across multi-platforms. Okay. So, uh, in layman's terms, break that down for the, for the, for the average Joe Snow. Okay. In, in layman's terms, basically what he said is each individual process is broken up into four pieces. Uh -huh. And each individual lane has a 32-bit structure. So, basically, you can fit four pieces of m MIP maps is what they call them, which is processing lanes, pieces of code, all structured into a lane right so what they do is they cram those into framed processes individually either they'll be 32-bit processes that they will multiply up so the multiplicative math adds up to a higher throughput or they will divide them based on what they are so a lot of like textures just like d was saying like grass and stuff that's all in its single lane and it's designed in one base parameter. So one lane with a single set of lines that all have the same code. Oh. When yeah, but D, D all that right. code, when yeah. all that code is the same, you can put it together and that's where the FP16 yeah. math comes in. Yeah. The okay. problem is if they try to do it too often, the repetitive processes of putting it all together in that same 32 bit lane will result in like a skipped frame. So it'll start banding or you'll start seeing like hazing, like one of the blades of grass will be a little off and it'll shift a little differently than the rest just because it's off track with the rest of the lines of code moving in a singular PC lane direction. So like D was saying, stuff like HDR, um, audio mixing, possibly like geometry calling and all that stuff, that'd be good for, but like he was saying, only in certain situations, and you're probably not even gonna really see the benefit of it. You know what I'm saying? Anything where you need clean, accurate uh, image quality, they, yeah. won't be, they won't be able to use it. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, um, okay. All right, so again, so based what you guys are saying, that, that for it to be foolish, Sony fans that run out there and say that the now the PS4 Pro that Sony future proof the PS4 Pro to combat that's what they're saying. Well, that you know what? It's sorry, <laughs> get them, D. Talk it's, about it. But you know, you know what I'm about to say. You know what they're saying. They're saying that Sony future proof, Be ready. <laughs> they, 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 they future proof uh, the PS4 Pro to compare uh, the Xbox One X. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad thing that they put it in because it's it's not a bad thing. It's it's a good thing. Anything that will help a console, um, a console's performance is, is a good thing. Um, however, it's not going to bridge the gap. It's going to help them out a little bit better, but it's not going to bridge the gap. And honestly, to tell you, I wouldn't even be so confident in that because the PS4 Pro support has been so poor. Yeah. 
It's been so poor. I can't remember what game was it. Uh, I just saw the Digital Foundry video of it, and uh, the developers were saying, oh, we added all this and this and that and that and this to it, and Digital Foundry broke it down and said, no, actually, they didn't upgrade nothing on it. It's actually the same version as the PS4, just a higher resolution. So a lot of developers aren't taking advantage of it now, so I don't know how much a difference it's really going to make anyways. And think about it. Think about it. Microsoft had an opportunity to, to build that feature into the Xbox One X, but it's not there. I don't think they thought it was significant enough to even put the feature in there. Because the Xbox you know what? One X like, doesn't have it. Yeah, but these, but these Vega GPUs that have it, they're like 12 teraflop GPUs where the, 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 the half precision where they're able to use it will benefit a little bit more because they got a lot more compute power to, to work yeah. with in the first place. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, well, again, so what I'm saying is you now what you guys are saying is just talking about from the, from the, how you say, from the casual thing. What if, listen, if I'm a gamer, forget all the techno mumbo jumbo stuff, because I, I and, and what about the video about this? Um, basically saying like console gamers are hyping up tech that they know nothing about. Uh, if, even if we see it, and, and it's if it's, it's, it's developers take advantage of this, like, you know, I mean, advantage of this, you know, what I mean, <clears throat> and maybe they're exclusive, well, but I don't know about the multi plat thing. Um, it's still not going to make it as powerful as the, as the Xbox One X. And for those that are going around saying that it's you're foolish, software can only this is realistic, man. Right? Software can only take you but so far. I mean, only software and hardware work together hand in hand, but it's not going to cover the the, the 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 distance of two teraflops. It's not, and not even so much as that. We're talking about it at a, also at a higher memory bandwidth. You know what I mean? It, it's not so. Uh, um, I don't know. I mean, it's good that if they're going to, you know, and that's and, and again those those calculations. Have been from full Vega GPUs, you know. What I mean, I don't know how much of that technology is in the Pro or whatever the case may be. But they got, they got different stuff. They got like primitive shaders. They got, they got it's completely different. They got high high bandwidth memory cache. It's a completely different uh, system. Like it's nice that they have that element of it, but at the same time, you still can't compare. Them. They, I they think this good. notion that the the this FP16 is gonna, you know, close the gap between the X and the Pro. It's, it's it's funny. It's laughable at best, but it's good for them to reach. You know. Can I can I be really honest though? I want you to. I, 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 I really don't hear PS guys talking about this. Though I hear more Xbox guys talking about this. The PlayStation guys seem to be numb to this. They don't even care. I've been I've been like on NeoGaf looking to see people talk about it. And they they don't even really care. Well, NeoGaf they had a, a big thread on this a while back. I think they didn't didn't talk about that so much. They don't really. It's irrelevant to this point. <laughs> the guy that brought it up is still a thread. I can't remember his name. They actually banned him. They like the guys got him. Say, what are you talking about? You're talking shit. And yeah. they, they they actually denounced this shit too. They're like, it's a bunch of shit. It's just marketing. Yeah, yeah they had like uh, about day, 50, 60, 70 page on on that topic. So it's irrelevant at, at this day, point. They were they already ran through this when Mark Cerny came out and they found out like let's be real over the last year have you seen any kind of significance have you seen signs of any eight point four teraflops bro come on man let's be hell real now hell no I mean for God's sake look at Hellblade it's just seven twenty p come on man stop man. that's <laughs> hey, that, that, that's, <laughs> shocking. that's shocking what well, again I mean, let's let's be real they you know what it is the Sony guys just figured it out that Mark Cerny was bluffing they know they won't call him out for it because we all know they. They bow to the master, but they ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> you know, uh, and again, and, and uh, we can talk just about that. Like, let's say it again. I did a video about that. Uh, I believe it was Sunday. Just make, and, and, and listen, I want to say this. I, I've always said I don't care about resolution. This doesn't give you better graphics, but we can't act like what has not been the narrative for three years. That's like in, saying racism never happened or slavery never happened. You guys, you Sony guys, now, you guys are getting exclusive now. Kudos. I'm gonna take my hat off to you, right? She didn't always have exclusives, okay? You get them now. Now, even though some of those exclusives may not appeal to me, you guys like them, and I'm cool with that. When your own higher up set your shit was sparse, okay? No, and, and again, you guys had the better version of the multiplats, um, in the indies, and a more powerful console. That was your, your guys' bragging rights right there, okay? Now, moving forward, you guys made video countless, even, you know, it's crazy, even with Digital Foundry. That's what I did with one on one moves. And I said, I don't have any faith in Digital Foundry about them pushing, you know, saying, you know, uh, like far as relating across the message to masses, but how much better of a buy is the Xbox One X is talking about in performance, right? Because at the end of that video, you know, so he barely whispered, I had to turn the volume. Yeah, because it's, it's a dynamic, a dynamic 900p. 
and and drops as low as 720p. Come on, man. What are we? This is your 4K. And uh, next gen, didn't they kind of say that quietly too? Like, oh yeah, it's 720p, and then just ignored it. But they did a whole video on the price of 60 frames per second for Halo Five. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that, you know what? And then they say I got the tinfoil hat on, and that there is no media bias. Like, come on, we, we gotta be realistic here, okay? Yeah. We I have to care. call a spade a spade. I said we got to get the biggest knife in the drawer, and we got to cut the bullshit out. We're gonna, we we, we, gotta, we gonna keep this thing here above. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's why I have no faith in quote unquote the 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 media or or whatever whether the audience, the katakus, whatever the case may be. I don't. Uh, and that's what I said. It's up to Microsoft. Going back to what I initially said in the day, it's like uh, look, I'll give you an example. I, I, I'll put it as religion, right? Hey, well, you, you believe whatever you believe. Well, no, Jesus is really fine. I'm not knocking you, right? But the, and, and I asked someone, why do you believe? Well, this is my belief. The definition of a belief is to be unsure. You know what I mean? To be unsure. So if, you, if you're not unsure, I can, guess what? I can count on myself. And I want Microsoft to forget the media and go out there themselves. And again, how home the fact that you don't need a 4K television to take advantage of this console. I think that's a huge selling point. A huge selling point. That you don't, as, as listen, as I do, you know, what I mean, it's, it's, it's better to have one, but if you don't have one, guess what? You're still going to see the difference graphically on this on this thing. Because I think one of the, if you look at the sales, uh, one out of every place, I'm sorry, one out of, one out of every uh, five places and fours that are sold is the PS4 Pro. And the reason why is that it's, it's more than just the price. Because no problem with about the price, no. Is that the games don't look any better graphically. You know what I mean? To the average Joe Smo. And I have one. I bought the Pro, not for, you know, a higher, but I thought I was getting a higher graphic fidelity. And that's not the case. If you don't believe in what you understand what I'm saying, let's look at the the, the digital foundry side by side comparison of the game, whether the Pro, the PS4, and Destiny, the last game. They said Destiny is running in low settings on the PS4 Slim and the same on the PS4 Pro. And the settings, the texture, this will give you your graphics. Don't give me the pros at a higher resolution, but it's the same settings, low assets. You know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. And Microsoft really needs to, they need to be, again, streaming from the rooftops. You know what I mean? Uh, that there's, a, you know, it's a huge, huge difference between games that are on the Pro and the Xbox One X. What do you guys think about that? Or why am I, you know, looking too much into it? I mean, I think Microsoft needs to like scream through the roof, like what the Xbox One X get ultra graphics. Don't deal with low resolution shits. Ooh, get ultra, ultra I like, graphics. I like that. You I gotta like use that. layman's terms here. If you don't have a 4K TV, get for ultra graphics. If you get the 4K TV, get that crisp 4K goodness. The best yeah. in line HDR. This is the stuff you drive home. This is what gets casuals' attention. You see, I agree with you. If 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 I don't know, I don't have the most faith in the marketing over there. To be honest with you. Oh, don't say that. However, if somebody's listening over there, though, mm -hmm. it would be great to have a 1080p 60 frames per second mode. That would be a seller of itself. Yeah, I, that, bro. I tend to disagree. Oh. Um, I don't think Marcus, not in what you said, D, in regards to the 1080p 60 frames per second. I would want the same thing. I'm talking about in regards to Microsoft needing to screen. I think we're going to screen for them when we get the, the console itself. Yeah. And I think that's what Phil's been um, been um, hampering on in regards. He said, we're going to wait till the gamers okay. get the console in their hands and see the experience for themselves. And I guarantee you, word of mouth is just as powerful as putting $2 million into a 30-second TV commercial. Oh, it's oh, probably okay. even more powerful. Much more. We got to look. We got to look. Um, and I'm not, I say this all the time. We got to look at the power of social media. You feel me? Of social media. It's over uh, a half a trillion, more than a half a trillion people on Facebook alone. We have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all these places where information is given to us instantly streamlined and updated on the fly. Once we get this console in our hand, it's going to be millions of not only people uh, doing box openings, but streaming this 4K ultra 60 frame per second glorious games and barking about how beautiful everything looks and how different it is from, from other consoles. Believe me, bro. I'm okay. telling you. 
So like, what, what you're saying like, is you want word of mouth, and I totally agree with that. But, but you also that, have to drive in with marketing. Like, look at when the PS4 launched. They talked about 1080p, yes. better, you know, graphics, so on. And then people had the share button, so there was ultra huge word of mouth. You see, Microsoft needs to copy that shit and do that as well. I mean, marketing, that marketing's gonna be there. Marketing's gonna be there. Hey, Pozo, how why do you have faith? Now, you try one. You sound like one of them Bible thumbers out there. You because, have to wait. Come back. The, 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 the reason why, marketing's gonna be there, bro. I, because look, we have this notion that. It's it's like from what I've been hearing, people like they they need to make TV commercials and things like that. Yeah, it's, to, it's overall, to, it's but whether it's TV, whether it's something, I I, I don't think so. Out. I think it's all about the internet, digital, and social media. Um, how much does it cost to uh, create a Facebook account? How much does it cost to create a uh, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? And all that. Account? You know, these accounts is free. That is free marketing. It costs nothing for Microsoft to sign up to a, um, a, a Facebook account, create a, um, a Facebook page, and put their product on there and market it. It costs a little bit of nothing. Are, you telling, them. Are you telling me they don't have one? No, I'm not saying that they don't have one. I'm talking about in regards to um, the marketing um, through social media versus, oh, wow. you know, spending $2 million on a, a TV oh, advertising. It's the same well, I, mean, don't I think you have to do both, though. Like, hey, nah, honestly, nah, because nah, because I, I think they need to hire. They probably need to hire a social uh, social uh, marketing. Hey, bro, hey, no, no, I'm just saying though, people are not really on TV no more. A lot of people watch right. their TV shows and movies no, no, I, I on, totally on get you up Most people the, yeah, on their yeah. phone nowadays. You're I on think, that YouTube, you're on that Hulu, you're on that Netflix. Yeah, the first thing, but when we get information, the first information that's probably given to us probably come from a YouTube channel or a Twitter link or some uh, other um form or anything like that. Believe uh, me, in this case, I, we're gonna do majority yeah. of the marketing for Microsoft. I mean, they're gonna market. They're gonna have to. Gonna have to. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with that. I got that question for everybody. I got a question. Okay, for go when was the last time all of y'all can really say y'all sat down and watched a commercial? Facts. No, it's not. I, 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 I think what you're saying. You no, but, but I mean. I, like, I'm not saying that. Like, he, channel. Like, he's an anecdotal, Xbox guy, right? And you get PlayStation yeah. commercials. This is anecdotal, but I give you, I give you a perfect example. Me, I watch Super Bowl. Have a big Super Bowl party every year. Okay. No, they will get watch on my big ass TV. My wife does not like football. Okay, but she watches for the commercials. Yeah, real talk. Last two years, I'm oh. like, yo, the commercial about to come on. Same thing I do every time. She up doing whatever with the rest of the girls that come with they they dudes. They up doing whatever. Commercial about to come on. We announce it, so they come over and sit down. Okay. This is what she said to me. I watch okay. it tomorrow when they put the compilation on YouTube. Okay, but listen, what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm saying some of some them compilations hit YouTube before, right? Yeah. Before they even done. Before, I, I you know. before you even get to the TV. I mean, okay. back in the days, we had to wait. We had to go in the house or wait for a magazine or wait watching the TV show to receive it, that I, commercial. No, no I'm, from, I'm from Canada. We didn't even get them back in the day. It's <laughs> instant. It's instant nowadays. Hey, but you know what I'm saying? So, it's immediate. I, I, I okay, wait, wait, hold on. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use a mooch example. You see, Pepsi and Coke, you know what those products are, but they still have commercials every year, even on the Super Bowl. Yeah. But they really don't need to play them, though. But they you do still see Microsoft commercials. Microsoft mind. will be there at the Super Bowl. You just got to yeah. pick your poison. Microsoft will be there because they, they run all of the Super Bowl computer yeah, yeah, no I, I agree don't have, but, I don't have to advertise Xbox throughout yeah. the year on TV you'll see uh, most of my audiences on social media you'll okay. see Madden commercials yeah, regard, right, you always do commercials you'll see one, Madden one commercial product in people's mind so when you do get games, word of mouth people that, will be interested one at a time one time what happened go finish me all right I said, okay, so you want the word of, uh, sorry, commercials anyways to get the thing in your mind, the product in your mind. So when you do see word of mouth on social media, you're like, wow, this shit is actually real. And that might actually get you interested. You want it in your mind no matter what. Okay. I understand that, Nitu, but um, before, you know, Microsoft does not have to market um, through TV advertisements throughout the year. They just need to pick their spots, such as the NBA Finals, such as the Super Bowls and things like that. Other than that, majority of the fan base is on okay. on the YouTube hey, hey, and things like, like that. Okay. And it's going to get there before it gets to the TV. I, I post a look like this, right? And, I, and I'm not negating everything that you're saying. And I'm not saying literally just TV. Overall, their marketing has been horrible. Whether it's been social media, whether it's been on TV. Here's the thing, and I'm going to say this again. Sony's out hustling them in the advertising department, okay? Facts. And again, uh, That's a fact. at the end of the day, I'll give you a look. Well, I'm an example. 
I'm primarily an Xbox guy, right? But you see nothing but PlayStation commercials on my channel. All right. Thanks. So again, this 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 uh um their marketing has been horrible. But when I and I and hey, I next said, thing, let me ask you a question. Yeah, go, go, go. Is it not alarming to you that we do more advertising than Microsoft? Yes, sir. See, that's what I, that was. That, that was <laughs> again. Where's our free Xbox is at? Listen, that <laughs> was my my second thing. Like for this word and mouth or whatever the case. But they this, know this. this. But yeah, but that's kind of what Microsoft wants you to do, though. They want you to advertise. Them this is them. this is this is this is money saving to them. <laughs> they, but, they, but again, that's uh, his real. I, I said at the end of the day, right? And I, I and listen, you, you gotta realize this post. I, I was awarded. I was given a plaque on Black History Month for the first person because to lose their life in the council war. I've been out there. I've been out there in the barren lands fighting this shit by myself for a long time. All right. Uh, so with that being said. So that's why you had this new, like I said, he said you're not gonna get no damage, so you're gonna be realistic here with this thing, right? Mm -hmm. From E3 to now, right? Microsoft, you have the momentum. I'm sorry, momentum. You momentum. have the yeah. new console. You got the power. All that stuff that, that people have been talking about for the last three years. Okay, all right. It's your job to go out there and put your foot on everyone's neck and not let them try to change their narrative and now they're talking about oh, the game. We weren't talking about games for three years. Microsoft should have been screaming from the rooftops for at the E3 23. We should be seeing commercials, whether it's ads on YouTube, whether it's Twitter, or uh, Instagram, or everything you name. What are you doing? Your console comes out in two months. You just said it right there. You just said it. Since E3 up until now, right? Mm -hmm. The discussion has been about what? The Xbox One X. Whether it's been in a positive light or a negative light. The discussion still it's still articles coming up it's still them. articles coming up uh, since e3 even to this day right now it's a um, few articles just popped up in the last couple right. days that's been about the xbox one x now whether the article has been positive or negative the xbox one x is still in the discussion you see what i'm saying at this I'll point it's two, at, at this at this point it's two months away i guarantee you King's Buzz Game and everybody else on this panel gonna have a YouTube video up with that 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 it might be four to seven or whatever one of them games be and you're gonna be talking about how and all you are. Hey, hey listen, so what you saying, Microsoft? All, you need, all, all Microsoft. I'll take your bet, bro. Hey, all Microsoft needs a MySpace page, huh? They need this MySpace page and they don't make anything right. I'm just I'm just telling you, it, in this age, it's different from back in the day. They, you don't I with social it. media, you don't have to spend as much. Okay. And okay. the boom in the podcasting, I mean, we're pretty much a, a, a commercial. We're pretty much advertising okay. ourselves. But you listen, know what I'm saying? But, but what I'm saying is just that all what you're saying, right? And 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 and, and, and as far as word of mouth and all stuff, you, there's another side of the coin. You have a bunch of other way more Sony channels out there. It's yeah, talking about Sony, okay. Yeah, that can, you know what I mean. So again, so we, you know, we we out there fighting a two to ten battle. Yeah, know, that's but, but yeah. next year, can I ask, can I ask you a question? Yes, whatever you want. What's going on? Okay, I want to. I'll ask this whole this whole panel this question now. Do you believe that the PlayStation is better simply because it is more popular? Who? No. 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 Okay. Just that was a that was something that yeah, that was no, but more hard here, here's all, he I, I is saying that if being two months away that should be yeah, made way more um hype garner on Microsoft side, not as far as us doing the advertising for them or anybody else, but Microsoft themselves should be pumping out like yes. crazy advertisement yeah, and right. right now and I and I can agree with that too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so it's too much can I ask the panel another quiet. question actually? It's kinda quiet. Go ahead. I understand what's each other. All right. So you guys don't have YouTube red, like you say commercials when you watch YouTube videos, correct? I had YouTube red. I, I YouTube know red. about YouTube red. But yes. Yeah, okay. So you watch what you, you, do, you watch about. commercials. How many times have you seen that stupid Final Fantasy commercial for that stupid mobile game? Like that's what I'm talking about. You shouldn't be seeing commercials like that. Yeah. Fucking promote the Xbox Here's One the X, thing, at least on those YouTube though. ads. The the Xbox One X, they're not go they're gonna use the the methods that they're using right now, which is us talking about it for an hour or some other <laughs> podcast talking about it for an hour. Um, Game Spy breaking up one interview into fifty damn articles, and <laughs> like it's literally one interview, and they take one line and break it up into fifty articles, like. They're going to use that until they announce pre-orders. Or I Mikey Barra going on a podcast explaining how the new dashboard works. Right. You know? I guarantee yeah. you, I guarantee 
all those commercials that we're looking for, all those ads that we're looking for, they're all made. But if yep. you put out an ad that says the Xbox One X is coming to the general public, I go to the store and I can't buy an Xbox One X. I can't pre-order it. They don't even have anything related to it around. It Immediately, I don't care anymore. Yeah. No matter how and much you like, say it, is the I would say assess the situation pre-order? after GameCom when the pre-orders right. go once up. Is, once pre-order. the pre- we assess I'll, the situation I as far as they market and after those ads will show up. Because after that pre-order go, they if they don't kick in with the advertisement after the pre-orders go up, it's a problem. Right, Aaron Greenberg, his whole team, foot fast. But, but I'm pretty sure commercials <laughs> and the advertisements is already right. already ready to go. Made, but again, like I said, if I advertise something that in basic person, I walk into a store and I say, I saw this advertisement for this new Xbox One. When can can I buy one? It's not out yet. Oh, can I pre-order it? No, nah, those aren't open either. I immediately stop caring. Like that I literally know. falls off I my car. I, I, I look at it like this, right? When my Nintendo, I'll give you an example. When Nintendo had their finally their unveiling of the uh, Nintendo Switch, you still weren't able to have pre-orders and people were excited. And when they finally put the videos up, then boom, they all sold out, right? So I, 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 I don't. It, it, to me, like I said, people make will make people want it more. Like damn, you know, damn, yeah. people but calling. You didn't see that. You didn't see that first. You didn't see that first um, Nintendo Switch commercial with that dude walking around until after they had the event where they announced it. Yeah, but you still pre-orders still went live at the event. You right that day when it when it went when the pre-orders went live. That's what I'm saying. Until the pre-orders go live. They're not going yeah, to push yeah, they're, they're, normal they're, they're, levels of advertisement. Just like so, Nintendo didn't that commercial. I'm sure that shit was made months ago. But until they officially had the event where they announced no, this is the Switch, you can go buy it. Here goes the commercial that is on everything now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's well, what's going to happen with Microsoft. Oh, the once they announce that you can go buy the thing. You'll start seeing all those commercials, and we could, and and you you brought up Z, you brought up the early um, pre-orders. Um, they sold out when yes. they opened up in in an, in an hour. Mm-hmm. You know, so that that kind of probably give us and Microsoft um, the outlook on how the demand for this 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 console is going to be. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna sell. So, it's, it, the first the first few months, it's going to sell. It's it's definitely going to sell. And I I was saying on uh dealers podcast that um the fact that many guys on pc can't get a good price gpu because of miners so they're expensive or they're hard to find or they're just expensive and at 500 dollars, you know you can get uh, 4k gaming a blu-ray uh a blu-ray player Dolby atmos uh it supports free sync some people are going to be attracted to that okay well, so, D, uh, you said a lot of people are going to buy it. What's your prediction for, let's say, November? It's launch month. How many X's do you think they will sell? I think it'll sell a mil. Yeah. A mil? Okay, I agree with that. What do you guys think? Um, um, that's kind of a hard question because the question would then dictate how many are willing to wait up to November to play all those games on the Xbox One X. Should, I think it'll sell a mil regardless. So what, less than 100,000 last month in NPD? Somebody out there waiting. You know, <laughs> I mean, I ain't got no problem with wait. I still got, I still have my Xbox One S, which upscales to 4K. Gear still looks beautiful upscaled to 4K. But I'm waiting on that X, and a lot of people are, because a lot of people um, are wondering, is this box going to be able to do what Microsoft saying is capable of doing? It? And I guarantee you, once we get, man, I watched that stream, that E3 stream, and mix it in 4K, and fours. Oh my god, and it looked like that on a stream. And I know the video was still compressed some. Just think of that on your TV. Oh look, man, come man, people and, and I, I like, and to touch on a little bit, I, I hear like you know, Z and, and crap talking about the Xbox One sales and how they were very low this month, and they, they are very low this month. I gotta point out can I can I point out the concept that it's July? Yeah, but I, I, I also I also gotta point out too that when the PS4 Pro was announced. It did have a, a, a steep drop off too. Now it didn't drop yeah. as low as the Xbox One numbers yeah, sure. because that console <laughs> that console was selling more. So, yeah. but, but it but it, it, the, the the jump in comparison is around the same because people wanted to wait on the PS4 Pro. Now, if you're a gamer out there, you 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 you're informed a little bit. You you know the Xbox One X is coming. 
a lot of a lot of the gamers are gonna say, "Why am I gonna get an Xbox One S right now? Xbox One X is coming out in two months. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna grab that system." So I I think it's normal to see some of the sales drop off as we get closer to Xbox One X. I I think it's normal. Now again, I I, I listen. I I, I know it, it may seem as being a little blasphemous, but the people look at most and again besides we talking about the world, the, 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 the stigma that the Xbox has. Is that it doesn't have any games, right? Let's be realistic here, right? Don't have any games. Uh, there was an article that came out uh, from Gaming Vogue or something that said the Switch released more exclusives in it was in 2017 than Microsoft did the whole or 2016, something along those. Oh, days. from the Sony dude. Whatever. I'm just saying they released more exclusives. Now listen, you know I don't care for those tinky winky. That's not for me. But and I said this yesterday, and uh, and, and I must I want, I want you to really. You get all the fanboy in the hot dog and listen to what I was saying, you know. And, and again, it's not gonna have a problem with Phil Spencer, okay? Under Phil, I know, I know people like to say, you know, still go back and blame Donnie D. But what exclusive really have you played on the field that you that we can sit and talk about? This been on the field. Everything you've been playing on the Xbox for the first three years or so has came from Donnie D. Under Phil, the Xbox doesn't have any more true exclusives. Under Phil, we don't have any more third party deals. And under Phil, we have horrible marketing the things that we have a problem with today now again i said it to say this that what they should do and if they were smart okay because you're still in the business to sell your console and you have to give your console some value they they bet on the wrong horse all that windows 10 stuff console gamers do not care at the core your core the casual the ones that go out there buy the mattens the duties and they don't care about any of that Windows 10 stuff, and that makes up the bigger demographic as far as numbers, okay? I'm a diehard Xbox guy, and I'm on the loop on the tech side. I've used Xbox Play Anywhere one time, Killer Instinct, and it crashed. Don't want to do it. I'm not knocking those that want to use it. Just not my thing, okay? But you have to, again, they have to go back and, 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 and fuck it. Them putting gears on poor out day and date did more harm than good. Forza did... Day and day did more harm than good. You know what I mean? I've been playing Gears of War for two months, and I ran across two people on PC. It didn't, it didn't throw out, it didn't push the sales. You know what I mean? You would have sold more hard, believe it or not, because they're looking like, why would I buy an Xbox when I can get the superior version of your game on PC? Just think about that. Well, your exclusive runs better on another platform. Why are you get this platform? The I, Gears I, thing. To the Gears thing, the reason you don't see PC guys play Gears is because all the PC guys are playing competitive and they don't cross-play those servers. I'm just talking about overall, the, the, the sales, the, the sales overall were Gears were very, very disappointing. The lowest in the franchise history, outside of judgment. That is something that you, we, that's how you say men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. We're going to keep this thing here a buck. No, Gears, um, the developers said a while back that they was um merging the um pc players and the gears players. yeah they they only do it on a casual server you can't play competitive against yeah but to say that's like an option on competitive or anything you can't play competitive. i, I know this because i'm one of the two people that z's seen on gears on the computer <laughs> <laughs> I know the fact. <laughs> I said that back then, and and again, people want to talk about my, what's making money in micro. Why do you care about Microsoft's money? Stop it! You know what I mean? Stop! Stop! Like crap, something the craziest shit yesterday that we we don't have third party marketing deal because we did. We they want me to make the Xbox One X. Uh, he was the chief financial officer yesterday. <laughs> Yo, I, I, he was I, I, the listen, chief man, financial officer of Microsoft yesterday. Support. Support. They, they, they do have third-party deals. They just don't have the same old ones they had before. Well, you know, they have. They have. They have. They have. Assassin's Creed. They I'll have. I give you an example. You ready for this? All right. I don't know if they still want to. You know, I'll give you an example. Um, you have a brand new console coming out this holiday season. And you don't have not one of the major modes. Let's say you got what's talking about you got uh you got Destiny, you got Star Wars, you got Call of Duty, uh, you got 2K, you got Red Dead, but then Sony got all of them. All of them. 
Okay, uh, how effective have, have have the marketing has the marketing deals been in the past? Like when Microsoft um had a, the, all those games that they had the marketing deals that they sell uh, more on the 360 than post. they did on the other platforms. Hey, post. Let me ask you this though: It's a little different when you could say these games look better on the Xbox One X. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's it's, but, it's, it's it still like you know. Even with COG, I know they got the um, the car car marketing deal, but it's still might a chance that COG might sell way uh, higher on the X than it will on the no. PS4. Even though they have the marketing deal, it, it's a even, it's a chance. I'm even not if you go it's back weird. to when when you if you go back to when COG marketing switched, and even even before that, when you go back to when uh, they the consoles first released, they. Sony was doing that same thing. We got the best version of this game. And all the media was, it's 1080p here. What's yeah. wrong here? Like, all of them was doing the exact same thing. The best version is on PlayStation. The best version is on PlayStation. The best version is on PlayStation. Yeah. But Xbox had the marketing. Yeah. Even, right. Everybody so the can, best version is on PlayStation. As far as additional things that come with the marketing deal, if I have the best version of that game, Time I don't not to, to I don't care about waiting for that content to come over because I'm already playing the best version of it. So I can wait a couple months if, if I'm gonna get it anyway, but I'm still sitting here with the best version of the game that plays better and looks better. Okay, so but I'm not too much worried about the marketing. The game is being shown though, you know what I mean? Whether it's TV or you know what I mean, uh, you, listen. Let's not be denied the fact that Destiny Two, those bundles of the promo, is going to do numbers for them. It's going to be huge. It's going to do numbers for them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and again, you know, I I, I remember uh, was it 2015? Microsoft had the slogan. Uh, was it 2000? What, what year did um, did uh, Halo Five come out? Was 2015? 2015. Okay, mm -hmm. they had the the best lineup in console history, or whatever the case may be. Not told. Crapping them again, and they again. I had done a few times. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they said again. <laughs> so that's what I got to do. better against like, "Well, Ukraine, are they going to win this?" I said, "No." Sony has that Star Wars deal. Yeah, but it doesn't have any shit. No, you don't understand. Yeah. That, that game right there. Star Wars is huge. It just appeals <laughs> to non-gamers that will go out and buy that yeah. console just the fact that it has a uh, uh, dark radius of face on the front of it. Okay, what's huge for Sony? You know what I mean? And then again, like, uh, like I, I, I don't know, man. You know, I, I, they have the marketing deal again. Again, so I, I so I digress. Um, so I, the, Xbox will probably do the same thing they did when uh, Destiny One released, which was they struck a deal with Best Buy so that if you bought an Xbox One, you got Destiny for free. Well, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm talking about before showing the game. Probably that was Samsung Destiny and was initially selling better on Xbox One than it was on PlayStation with the marketing. And, and see, it's other marketing deals outside of gaming. You can link up with a Samsung. Hey, get an Xbox One X or buy this TV and get a free Xbox. Get an Xbox One X along with it. You know, so it's really? other there's other advertisement outside of gaming themselves. Really? Really? You, you got two times of the year that people buy TVs and drove. Black Fridays and we we'll get their taxes back in February. People go out and get TV. It is what it is. Switch black folks, right? Uh, black Friday and what's the Super Bowl? Black, 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 black who get their taxes. You know what I mean? You know, I I don't know the black thing that ever bought a TV for Super Bowl, but I don't want to get taxes. Super Bowl taxes, and I know that's uh, the Black TV, Friday, bro. Huh? That's when they the cheapest. The cheapest I'm TVs not, are during the Super Bowl. I come from a red, red poor neighborhood. I remember the TV pop out the front. The project by the dumpster after you got their taxes and Black Friday, you know what I mean? Now, again, um, so I guess you know what, moving we'll right along. Uh, Gamescom is this Sunday or was it Monday? Sunday or Monday? Sunday, the 20th, right? Yeah, Sunday, okay, yeah, Sunday, Sunday. at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I think is what it is. Okay, so we got Gamescom this Sunday. I got the day off. Ooh. Okay, so what are you expecting from Microsoft? <laughs> what are you expecting from Sony? So, uh, I'm not expecting anything from Sony because they're gonna do a presentation at Games game. Week. They're not gonna really be at they games. They're not like be games kind of like that. Now. Um, from Microsoft, um, I seen a few slides um, from Gamecoms, their setup, mm -hmm. um, and one of the slides had Fable Legends on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, Another slide had it was kind of it wasn't really clear because they zoomed into it, but it had 
all the halos on there and what people were speculating is that um they will announce um that all the halos um from the mcc collection all the way up to five will be um native 4k 60 frames per second from kind of glassing at the side so um that's what i saw from those two pictures but i'm looking for some new game developers too we also got a um the record developers just dropped the uh, image as well with um with new machines and new robots and stuff on the image so they probably got um either another record coming out or some dlc to that game they so got their be, record definitive edition yeah definitive edition which probably adds some new content to that because they had some um some bots on that picture that wasn't in the um the original game. So I hate to sound less enthusiastic, but I can give it a <laughs> uh, hopefully we, we we're looking for the main two things I'm looking for is right. the pre orders and some new content. Okay, I can go with that. Pre orders and some new content. I'm looking for, <laughs> okay. for pre orders well, and I'm definitely looking for that crackdown three multiplayer. It better be the yeah. fact if it's down if it's downgraded in any Literally. way possible, it won't join this collection, baby. I don't that's, care. That's Shit. literally all I'm looking for. I want I want some Crack down the multiplayer. I want my pre-order so I can put that shit in 10, 10 a.m. or whenever the hell it's supposed to go live. And I want uh, State of Decay 2. I want I want to see that. I so can't say this. The Crackdown State Decay developers. Is what it is. I want to see Crackdown three developers at the last the last panel they did at Comic Con. They did state that the the destruction was still there in the multiplayer and that they'll be showing it later. So hopefully Gamecom is the place that they show it. Yeah, because they really need to. But Z, let's go ahead and come to what you really care about. Halo didn't make you an Xbox fan. It was Fable. So what do you think about seeing that Fable Legends there? What do you think is going to go on? Um, To be honest with you, I'm going to keep it funky. I'm going to keep it all the way up above. All right. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Fable fan. Um, But that Fable there, with Fable Legends, that wasn't Fable. The whole aspect of controlling the, the bat. No, nah, no, nah, scrap that. They just <laughs> scrap that. Listen, everything else is cool. The combat... Graphics, all that stuff. Was yeah, the graphics was amazing with that global illumination. That shit, yeah, that lightning can, was listen, great. They can look. They they scrapped the whole bad guy part. Uh, keep that part right there. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, just being you know and going against you know the AI, which is or you know the enemies or whatever, and add a story aspect to it, and I'll be fine. Yeah, that that, that was, was like one of the first DX12 games too. They was, was building around DX12. Isn't, isn't Fable Legends like that free to play online type of shit? Yeah, it was. Yeah, is that it, or is it something else? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. That was that, that was it. Oh, no, nah, that's trash. That's that'd be trash. I'm sorry. I'm really in the. Oh, I'm oh, really no. in the oh, Elder Scrolls, the but I don't play the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, online. no. But here's it, the thing. Gonna be trash, I believe the right? Fable Legends like more like <laughs> stock footage. They're just trying to tease you that Fable will be there. Yeah, it could be. It could be a placeholder. It could be a placeholder. Yeah, because before Gears Ultimate was uh, announced and shit, they showed the Gears of War three launch on their YouTube channel randomly. So what they're doing is they're teasing you with showing an older property, and they're gonna surprise you with some new shit. Yeah, hopefully so. Yeah. I mean, people, uh, a new a new fable would be, especially on the RPG side, uh, be welcome to the catalog in regards to the exclusives. Hopefully, it's just Xbox One X only and not, you know, play nah. anywhere. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what I will say though, uh, post up is. I will be fucking angry. I'll throw a chair if they go in there with that stupid ass fable card game and fucking tricked us all. Yeah, that'll be man. That'll be. A uh, blow. That's be already that. out though. That'll oh, be a man, blow. Watch it be that. That's already out though. <laughs> I gotta say, watch uh, it be that. that. <laughs> well, all, all of Don't Fable Legends, um, rights and all that stuff. They said they were all being developed for something different. So let's hope. Because is the the little Fable card game nothing like that looks anything like anything in Fable Legends, so yeah. And a lot of people was at that 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 IP uh, when when they got rid of the studio. Um, a lot of people was at Microsoft for that Fable um, IP. So hopefully they're they're doing something with it. I don't I don't give a damn if Microsoft make it if they farmed it out to somebody as long as it gets done. I, I'm, yeah, I'm still. But, uh, I'm, I want to see a new Battles Toads. I want to see a new a banjo, a real banjo. Um, a return of a real banjo. Something game. besides Sea of Thieves. So maybe now would be a good time to finally show it. Uh, even and, a, you know, uh, more realistically, with the Conquer game's coming live and reloaded, Conquer was dope too. Yeah, you know? yeah. Speaking of like you know, game time predictions, I think they're going to show some. 
OG Xbox back and pad games. Maybe Conquer will be a part of that. Who knows? I know but Crimson Sky. Realistically, that'll be in there, I think. I'm not always. I was always. I always felt as though Crim- Crimson Sky has sold over a million um, in the copies. And even when the X- OG Xbox Live was on its last leg, when it was about to be shut down, I was still able to boot up, boot up the OG Xbox and hop into Crimson Skies and, and, and get a game. Like, okay. it was still a whole lot of people on it. I always felt that that needed a sequel. And it's crazy because the character in there, <laughs> in Crimson Skies, it was Drake. Huh? Hey, hey, <laughs> Nathan. 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 Whose name was Nathan? <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's crazy? Hey, look, even what you're saying that, right? And again, I said this uh, about two years ago. I more or less I'm, I'm talked about this. If you look at the public schools that Microsoft had and to what we got right now, it's a problem. And everybody, no, no, this making money and that make money. And they got to talk about Microsoft money again. And I said, well, what are you talking about? We have less games. You know, and you want this kind of, this conversation that be going on that I kind of got the, the game making me talking about uh, want to see, you know, the developers from uh, 343 or uh, the coalition or whoever can make something outside of the norm. You know, what I mean, with their uh, this out of your gears, your halo. Um, and I don't believe there was a big public pushback in that from some guys, some Xbox guys. No, all we mm-hmm. want them to make like, what we talk. What, 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 what you, you don't want them all you want. You know I mean, and it, and again, I'm not saying that they can't do that, yeah. but just saying that that's the only thing that they can do and not do anything is absolutely the fact that, again, naughty dog. I'm gonna say this again, really think about this whether you like those games or not. So, I, well, they're not as good as Gears and Halo. That's subjective, that's your opinion. Okay, the fact that. Their fan base, and those are huge AAA games. Those are console sellers, okay? The fact that they have The Last of Us and uh, the Uncharted series and have the green light to start to make another game outside of those two, right? They took 10 people from making Uncharted 3 to start uh, The Last of Us, okay? Mm-hmm. It sold 6 million copies on the PS3. 6 million copies, right? Mm-hmm. Huge game. And with the a fraction of the resources that three four three have, you mean you tell me like come on, what, what, what are we what are we saying here? Not only that, Z. On top of that, look at the IPs that they own that just been sitting there. They have some very classic IPs that they own. Mm. No, they have Brute Force, Jess Radio, um, Banjo, um, Perfect Dark. Um, they own a lot of great. Great IPs, um, Battle Toads. They, I mean, they own a lot of great IPs, and they're just sitting there. They've just been sitting. And people been asking for these for years. We asked for a banjo, and they brought out a banjo that was not oh, a oh, sequel oh, to the it original banjo. Fuck and people that. like, what? The? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I just don't understand it. Hey, Post, we were having a good discussion at a party. So, Microsoft, how many yeah, employees does three four three have? You said. Um, what I hear is 450. So you're telling me they can't make two possible teams? They tried to do that, and then MCC turned into absolute garbage. So they're not going to do that again. That was in I regards d- to MCC. No. And I understand why they had trouble with MCC, because you had multiple different OSs. You had an operating yes. system from the OG. You had an operating system for the 360. You had a bunch of different <laughs> studios working together. It was well, just a mess. And Microsoft, guys from 343. Microsoft uses 343 like Sony uses Sony Santa Monica. Like Sony Santa Monica has more, seven more different than. teams, yeah, and they, they all work on... No, they made more than stuff. Just fucking, 343 uh, is the war. same way. It's like they're working on a bunch of different mm. games. They're just not working on anything mm. new from them. Mm. They need and, to do that. Yes. And, and even but, Sony Santa Monica had a new title that they was working on. Hey, hey, um, and they got, but I think it got pushed got, to the yeah, side or it got canceled. Yeah. But yeah. they was working on a new IP, though. You know what I'm saying? Outside like, of like I said, the God of War. Sony Santa you know? Monica, their, their studio itself is divided into seven different teams that all help different branches of different the other studios the other okay. Sony studios like okay no, that's like that's dope. one of their teams basically designed the fighting algorithm for horizon zero dawn like that's the type of studio sony santa monica is as a whole there's a team wow, that's dedicated that. to making a game and then who they have the smaller story, teams. i wonder huh i said who wrote the story i wonder that was gorilla but 
um the the combat design was designed by Sony Santa Sony Monica's Monica. yeah it it was part of their interim team like they they have teams that literally bounce okay, from Sony, 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 Sony the show Studios. they make the okay. show and um God of War and they make them uh, some other stuff too besides the show and God of War but I think that's the two uh shout out to uh Double Mellow uh yeah. that's the two primary they know for the show and and the God of War. Uh, Z, uh, they, you, they, they, they you keep bringing up Naughty Dog, right? Like, you know, with The Last of Us. Naughty Dog didn't have, uh, abs- weren't absolutely sure if The Last of Us was going to sell like it did, but it ended up de- selling. It's about and taking it a new console seller. It's so if you don't chances. take the risk, make a new IP, you might not get that new console seller for the Xbox brand. And at the end of the day, you have to make those new IPs. That's how you keep your brand moving forward. You never they know also what's going to happen in until you try. They also released exactly. a third of their workforce. I'm just saying, I, and again, not enough. I'm, I'm just, no, I'm that. saying, as far as size goes, now I'm they're listening. they're half the size, but they released about a hundred people, right. hundred and forty people. It's a good business. I, I get it. Yeah. You know, I don't want to lose their yeah. job, but as a gamer, you know, I my thing is games, and I need more. The same. I'll give you an example. What I want, the same way they give Halo and Gears and Forza that AAA all out thing. I want something else from them on the same level. Recoil is not on the same level. Uh, I'm thirsty for the next big franchise. I am thirsty for the next big franchise. I didn't play Halo. I didn't play Gears for years and Halo for years. We need another another big franchise. Maybe one or two more. You should never be playing with the last games and 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 Forza because I'm. You know when 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 Gears came out on the Xbox 360, it was wow, man. The graphics was crazy. The shotguns and all the multiplayer, everything. We need. I don't care which genre is in. I don't. I kind of wanted something outside of the FPS genre because we got enough of that. Maybe something that's action oriented. Um, yeah. uh, even something like a, a with a Ninja Gaiden feel to it, or something different. But we need um, two more big franchises, two or three yeah. more big franchises, man. It, well, exactly. Well, Did anybody know that um, Microsoft has two studios in London, one in LA, two in or three in Canada, and one in New York? I mean, know that? Making, what do you mean? Exactly. Knowing, that's knowing a, and knowing what they're doing. Yeah, we is, wouldn't know that because it's shit. Yeah. That's yeah, knowing point. and knowing like, what they're doing. Everyone is knows, things. like, no one knows that they even exist. Microsoft needs to put their ass to work. Okay. Make but, yeah. something. But Phil did, yeah. Phil did say not too long ago, he did say that they did invest in some new IP, some new stuff is coming, but he's just not ready to show it yet. So if he's if he's if he's made this commitment, we got we gotta give them time. These games aren't yeah. gonna be made in a day. So yeah. but here's the thing. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I understand his his apprehension because of the whole scale bound thing, and now mm-hmm. any game that gets canceled from Microsoft, all of a sudden every game is canceled. I understand that apprehension he has. However, yeah. He needs to feed the fan base something, otherwise he's going to get hit constantly. Yeah. Literally, if he says this game is coming, you're gonna get the crop of people that'll say it'll get canceled like Scalebound, but you'll all also get the people that'll be like, "Yo, that game gonna be dope," and those people will slowly start to drown out the people who will talk negatively about whether or not the game will be canceled. And he it's not so much something. them um, not having the money. I think. The thing here is, from my opinion, and from what I can see, is is where and how they choose to allocate the money. Do we go first party, invest in one of our own studios to make a game? Do we go buy and purchase another studio? Or do we go out for a second party? Or do we invest in a third party to uh, create a um, a game for us? So it's all in how, how he feels that the money needs to be allocated. Yeah, and th- I want to say this last piece about the whole accepting less games. At the end of the day, there would be no Golden Eye if Rare decided to not take on the project. There would be no Anthem if Bioware didn't break their mold. There would be no Last of Us if Naughty Dog didn't decide to do a different story. At the end of the day, these guys take on new projects, and they're projects you guys end up loving. So I was saying, saying no to taking risks. You should invite it. And, yeah, you, face. and in regards, you want to start now because Halo is not going to always have that appeal that it does. You know it's what I'm saying? And, and nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. And e- even with Gears, Gears doesn't have the same appeal now as it did when it first, you know, came out. 
things tend to trickle off, trickle and, and fade off. I mean, Halo is not going to be this sustaining franchise forever. So you will want to put them in a position of creating new IPs just to get comfortable with it. So if they have to move on from something like Halo for a while, I'm not saying, and, you know what I'm saying? The, the, and before the we, problem we, with Microsoft is that they're in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Not even with within Microsoft, I'm saying. Because what will happen is, like, we sit in on these investor calls, and they'll they'll go to the Xbox division. They'll talk about profit revenues and all the sharing. Phil will come up and have his little, like, talk about what direction they are going and things that they're working on or whatever. And he his speech always ends in a profit, profitability section because what happens inside of Microsoft is... Like Shuhei said, th- most of their games don't make money. In Microsoft, that's not an acceptable thing. And Sony has been like that for years, so nobody cared. And then when they started shifting to their insurance and PlayStation and the the chips, when they started shifting to those things because those are the primaries, them investing in these things was fine with them because this is the one division that's maintaining its float in some way, shape, or form. In Microsoft, it being the smaller, the little brother in the group of things that Microsoft does hurts them as much as it helps them to do things like the Xbox One X. I'll see what you say. At the end of the day, right for for right now, Phil needs to go to back to Japan, and I, I, I don't <laughs> know what you're doing, bro. You need to talk to them people. It's no reason why Sony is getting all these handouts and you ain't getting none. If you gotta kick some of your share of of uh, the profit off of these games, if you gotta kick a couple dollars back to that developer, do it. Get these games on here too, so these people can stop whining and crying. Is it would be a whole different thing if xbox is getting those same games made by them third uh party developers you gotta remember sony's first party isn't making all these games you know what i'm saying yeah. it's the third parties they're, they're getting handouts from uh you know a lot of these japanese companies like i don't, uh, I don't know if phil said yo we don't want these or i don't know what he doing bro like hey i'm sure you can get it you got to do what you got to do bro that, it is that, what it is this is yeah, what's happening speaking on that king blood um they are going to tokyo game show so we'll see but at the end of the day, I think Matt's is going to say, you know, it's just a Japan issue. So what are you about to say, Matt? Yeah, like Japan is xenophobic, more or less. I lived in, I was stationed in Japan when I was in the military for a year and a half. Japan is very about Japan. It's about and Japan, yeah. Like they, they don't like American with, companies or Yeah, like a lot of these companies get government grants to make stuff for Japan. And that includes PlayStation. That's why you see, play, like, there's a lot of PlayStation and Nintendo games that you will never see outside of Japan simply because the Japanese government paid to get them made. And that stuff happens for PlayStation also. A lot of these pl- places get bailed out because they don't put it out to a wide enough audience, but the Japanese government gives them kickbacks to make more stuff for Japan. Mm-hmm. And the, so I don't, Microsoft, like, breaking into that market, they basically have to buy the government. And Japan has more money than we do. If have. Xbox doing good in Japan in regards, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. Japan are for Japanese. They, they, they support their I'm not talking about doing yeah, good Yeah, I know. Japan. I'm talking about in regards. I know what you're talking about. He, he, he applying that in regards to what you're saying. As far yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the reason why um, PlayStation is getting all those those, right. those Japanese it's, games. It's more I mean, of a home. Japanese thing. Like it's they, a Japanese even, part of their culture. I don't, I don't even want them games. I mean, I, I listen. I, I, yeah. I could take I'm a ninja right, I'm going to be I could take a ninja guy. Yeah. 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 So he can shut up. So they can shut up everybody about them not having them. Uh, listen, what I'm saying is that um, and again, I, when, I, when I think of Xbox, I'm not knocking Sony dudes for what they like. Cool. I like the big lot of Xbox, top Xbox. Lot of, ah, that's what I want. I'm not interested in Chopstick 13 Return of the Dragon. I'm, you can keep all that shit there. If it comes to you, I'm fine with all that. That's not, I'm, I don't buy that shit anyway. Now, listen, I know gaming is a very selfish hobby. When I eat, don't make me want to defecate. But again, Phil did show some of that stuff there at E3. And a lot of that whole, they show 43 games or whatever, 21 exclusives or console exclusives, whatever. You know what I mean? I want the over the top Spider Man, you know, those type of games, the, the God of Wars, or well, no, not literally, you know what I mean? But those type of games. Like right now, there should be no reason why they shouldn't be at work on Sunset Overdrive 2. 
investing in IP. It was cool. Something new, something different. This time, add a better multiplayer mm -hmm. aspect to it. Um, you know what I mean? You can do better with it. You know what I mean? A lot of things that, that went wrong. And I, I like the game overall. You should have a rise to. You know what I mean? Invest in the IP. Whatever you got to do with Crytek, I believe. I think that one of the main issues with Rise, that uh, it was a launch title, first of all. It was a Connect first, but it was a launch title. Uh, and it was very repetitive. They let you change your weapon. Much more they can do with it now, especially with, uh, with, uh, with the Xbox One X on, on the, the way. You know what I mean? It's much more you can do with Rise right now. You know what I mean? Uh, so like I said, there's much more they can do with that game. Um, just some again, uh, we we got uh, battle tools, RC Pro Am. They got so many things they can do. But again, the problem is again that they have to uh, reach out to other developers to make it because they don't have enough talent. Well, let's see enough talent, enough studios internally. Look, they, Microsoft is not even making Crackdown. So we'll never see another rise. Ah, fine. I'm just saying <laughs> to, to, to let you know about the problem. Microsoft, their biggest, their 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 their, their biggest IP for this holiday exclusive. Uh, crack. I'm sorry. Get yeah, cracked now. It's not even made by them. You, you understand what I'm saying? And you don't see what, where I'm going with this. You know. Again. So you know. And, and yeah, again, your and, biggest holiday for this this holiday well, they need, season. They need to adopt seven. They need to bring out friend. Uh, well, they need to adopt the PlayStation strategy as a whole. Also, they need to start releasing games throughout the damn year and not up against all the heavy hitters at the end of the year like they've been doing. They need to. Stop yeah, it. I think that's what's they're happening. In that mode, they, they need to cut that out as a whole. Well, I think, yeah. that's, that's, I think that's what they're doing this next year with uh, 2018. Yeah, with um, Sunset Overdrive. I, I so. Right, Crytek gone, man. Yeah, think, because they moved uh, State of Decay and everything. Yeah, like, oh, the reason we won't see another rise is because Microsoft tried to make a rise too, but Crytek owned the IP, so mm -hmm. the Microsoft was like, "We'll, we'll give you the money." Buy. We'll, we'll, we will Man, completely no. fund it, but we want to own the IP. That way we won't have a problem like Titanfall where it's now going to other people, even though we are the reason that it exists. So we want to own the IP. Crytek was like, no. And then three months later, they're not paying their employees. <laughs> yeah, right. In the world, but that's that's all, all, these, all, all the right. studios closed, and one studio closed, yeah, two studios closed, closed in 14. Right the rest right closed in 2016. You swoop back in there. You know, before the auction go scoop back in there before EA yeah, buys it up. Yeah, they know where the last studio was. Um, was um, what the Black Sea Studios? They was yeah, they got sold. They were sold to Sega. They were sold to Sega. Yep, the other studios are closed. But they still they still have IPs that they for some reason won't get rid of. Like they literally said that they are going back to making engines, and that is going to be their primary focus. But so they Microsoft still refuse to the, give up the IPs they have. Yeah, Microsoft. Yeah. All right, well, well anyway, listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an very interesting show. It's already 11 o'clock. We're going to get the hell out of here. Uh, thank you all for rocking by the live stream. Hit the likes. Hit the single to 100 likes. Uh, great show. Great panel, as always. Um, again, um, shameless plug. We're looking for new and up-and-coming YouTubers to build the brand of broad, uh, broadband bullies. Um, uh, get down what we doing, man. You know what I mean? And again, you got so many new pieces you got here right now today. You got Maslin. You got, you know, Garrett, King's Blood Gaming, whole stuff. Nikus, you know what I mean? We will and we working, man. Get down with, like I said, the Broadband Bully. Shout out to you guys that been supporting on Patreon. You know, uh, the live stream, the donation, we appreciate it. We're really trying to uh, build a huge platform here. Sit for us, by us. Now, I'm going to leave a link. If you're interested in, 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 in getting behind what we're doing and joining us, uh, what else the live stream? I'm going to leave a link here. Come on, get it. Rock, rock out with your boy, man. I mean, we out here. And, 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 and before you go, he said, "Got thank you for coming out. God bless. Good night. We, we out yeah. here. Broadband band bullies. Broad band bullies. God bless. Yeah, bacon, 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 bacon.